Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Mohamal Said with you again. In this video, we're going to learn about exporting our game in Unity. So let's get started with our new video. So just a quick summary of what we did in our previous video. Um, in our previous video, we learned about, um, I think, ending and restarting our game in Unity. So in this video, we're going to learn about exporting our game. So let's get started. Um, first of all, here we have our Unity tab, and here's our game. I just added a few little modifications. So, yeah, first of all, we have to go to our File tab on top, and then Build Settings. Um, the menus may uh, differ um, depending on the version of Unity you're using. So, yeah, I'm using Unity 2020.3, 5F.1, um, so, yeah. Um, it's gonna be very similar, but there there might be some uh, changes. So yeah, we're gonna go to our file tab. Then we're gonna go to build settings. So this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this tab saying build settings, which I don't know what I just did. Um, so let me. What did I just do? This is really weird. Uh, let me see what I did. Okay cool what happened is that i kind of put this thing into the tabs so i don't want that to happen again so yeah first here we have our scenes um i think yeah i have uh six scenes now i have all our level all our levels our credit uh and our menus so yeah and now below in our platform uh, we have PC, Mac, and Linux. Um, so, yeah, PC, Mac, and Linux. This is what I chose. So, you can use anything else like iOS, Android, but your game has to be modified to work with this um, operating system that you're using. So, I'm just going to go with PC, Mac, and Linux. So, after you press on build and run, you're gonna see um, this right over here. Uh, so this is where you want your um, where you want it to be directed, where you want it to be downloaded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file or folder. I'm gonna create a new folder, new, and then go to folder. I'm gonna call this folder. Um, I think I'm gonna call it build. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? Where is our builds thingy? Okay, here. We're gonna select it and then we're gonna press on select folder. Um, now it's gonna start downloading. It says hold on until it finishes. Um, so almost always it takes some time. Okay, so guys it is done and um here is our window so um this is what came out i just added this new folder um i'm gonna rename it to where is our rename button um uh, okay we're gonna rename it to um i think windows yeah and then we're gonna put all of these inside here shift shift um shift no i don't want this one come on um control 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 now we're gonna put all of these come on i keep doing it wrong control 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 done put it inside our windows um, we're gonna try again, try again, try again. Okay, let's see what's here now. I think we can just um, keep it just how it is or not. Let's just try it doing again. Um, I have to select this. Then put it down. It's not working. Okay so now maybe what i can do is i can um bring those out again 
uh, move to build. Now, um, what I have to do is I have to remove the windows. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're going to need to use um, a software. We're gonna need to use an app um, to export it. So I'm gonna use Inno Setup. So you have to download it. I already downloaded it, so I already have it on my desktop. Um, so I'm just opening it. I don't know if you guys can see it right now, but here it is. Okay. Very uh, good now. Okay. Now, first of all, what we have to do is create a new script file using script wizard. We're going to press on OK. Then it says, welcome to the Inno setup uh, script wizard. I'm going to press on create a new empty script file. Next. Finish. Oh, wait. No, I've just done it wrong. Um, you have to press on here. Then we have to press on next. Okay. What I want to name it is, my, it's my first game, so I'm going to call it my game just an example um version 1.0 coding um coding for uh i can say coding for kids or my name i can just um say anything there so coding for kids and your application website i can just put my um you if you can have a website you can put your website or your youtube channel but for now we're just gonna leave it just how it is next um now we're gonna fold the app uh, we're gonna call the application folder name i'm gonna call it um installs okay now i'm gonna press next and um now i have to select our exe so i'm gonna come back to my this pc i'm gonna go here data d so now i just need to find my stuff so um here i don't know if it's working yeah here here and then builds and then a uh, go cube this one we're gonna press on open then add folder we're gonna press on i think this pc data d then um okay now we need to find our uh stuff where is it um i think it's gonna be inside here then here and then here and yeah just select the builds and press on okay so now press on yes so what this is gonna do is uh it's gonna have it's gonna have all of these our dll our unity crash handler our go cube our mono bleeding edge our go cube data so it's gonna have all of those we're gonna press on next um you can call your game anything you want i'm just gonna call it my game uh you can call it anything you want it doesn't matter now press enter you can put a license file if you have here but i don't have one just for now so i'm gonna press next uh okay so now please specify in which installed setup uh should run okay um i think I don't want to ask the user i'm gonna keep it just how it is now i'm going to press enter and now um which languages should be included you can put any language you want um even you can choose multiple languages but i'm gonna just keep it as english then press on next and then custom compiler output um uh, okay where I want it to be, I'm going to press on this PC, data D, and come down to our YouTube channel, and then here, then builds. Um, so, yeah, okay. 
doing our builds we're gonna say okay um my setup um now i'm gonna press on next next and finish so um just a second you're gonna see this the problem is i'm using two screens so i'm not gonna be able to show you the second screen i'm just gonna try so you're gonna say um you can say yes or no but i'm just gonna say no for now and um so yeah after that now you have your game uh you cut running you can run it at any time and it's gonna be just at your desktop so yeah this is just how we do it it's super easy now you have your game you can share it with your friends and anybody you want so yeah this is very cool so that's it for this video see you in the next one bye